Problem 9, evaluate the integral 5 secant squared x dx. Hopefully you are very familiar with this, knowing that there is an integral. We know that the integral of secant squared x dx is equal to tangent x plus c. So my, the only thing different in this problem is there's a 5 there. We don't need it, so we can just bump it out front. So I'm going to rewrite it to look like this. And so now this will be 5 tangent x plus c. That's all you have to do. It's just formula recognition. Do you know your formulas? Problem 10, evaluate the integral x cubed plus x all over x to the fifth dx. First thing that we're going to do, whoops, since we have, oh, since we have no um, quotient rule on, on integrals, is we're going to bump the x to the fifth up top. So I'm going to have x to the x cubed plus x and then times x to the negative 5. The next thing that we're going to do is distribute. So I'll get, I'm going to add my exponents. I'll get x to the negative 2 plus x to the negative 4, still dx. Okay, then from here, since there's a plus sign, we can just take the integral of each part separately. Remember, we'll just add 1 to the power and um, multiply the in front by the reciprocal. So if I increase this power by 1, I'll get x to the negative 1. The reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. Next part, increase my power by 1, I'll get x to the negative 3. The reciprocal of negative 3 is negative 1 third. So now rewriting this so I don't have negative exponents, I'll have negative 1 over x minus 1 over 3x cubed plus c, and I am done. Okay, probably find um, f of x if the second derivative is equal to x to the negative 3 halves f prime of 4 equals 2 and f of 0 equals 0. Um, before I start this, let's point out that the 4 is an x, the 2 is a y, the 0 is an x, the 0 is a y. Alright, I need to get back to the original function. I'm at the second derivative. So the first thing that I want to do is take the integral because that will get me to the first derivative. If I use my power rule, if I increase my power by 1, that will be x to the negative 1 half. The reciprocal of negative 1 half would be negative 2. If I rewrite that, because most people don't like dealing with negative exponents, I'm going to get negative 2 over the square root of x plus c. Okay, I will now use this information right here to help me find the c. I know my derivative is equal to 2, and I know my x value is equal to 4. So I'll get 2 equals negative 2 over 2 plus c. 2 equals negative 1 plus c, c equals 3. So if I rewrite this, f prime of x equals negative 2 over the square root of x plus 3. Okay, now I'm going to rewrite this so that I can actually take the integral here. So this will be negative 2 x to the negative 1 half plus 3. Okay, to get from the first derivative back to the original, again, I'm going to take the integral of both sides. So I will end up getting f of x. On this one, if I increase my power by 1, I'll get x to the 1 half times the reciprocal up front, which will be 2, and then plus the integral of 3 is 3x. So if I rewrite this, I will get negative 4 square root x plus 3x, of course, plus c again. And then I will use this information, f of 0 equals 0. So my function equals 0, and my x value equals 0, which means c will equal 0. So my final answer will be f of x equals negative 4 square root x plus 3x, and that would be my answer.